everyone, this is Kenny Miller at Thumbprint. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a file for us to produce a kiss cut die cut decal. So if you've seen decals that are cut through just the vinyl, they're square cut, you can peel your, your shape off, that's a kiss cut. Uh, we're going to actually add another element to it, which is a die cut. So not only do we have the kiss cut that will cut through your vinyl layer, we're going to have a secondary cut that will actually cut through the backer so that your sticker itself when it's on the paper sheet will have a custom shape. So what I've done here is I've already got an Illustrator file opened up and I do already have the original cut path that I've created that I'm going to paste back in here. And what this is going to show you tonight is how to set this up for production here at Thumbprint to have it go through without any issues. So what we're going to do first, I've already pasted in the kiss cut layer. I'm going to go ahead and go to our alignment tool here. It's actually under Pathfinder in the window and then you go to alignment. We're going to do a vertical and horizontal or horizontal vertical alignment. That's going to center the outside kiss cut line to our graphic that we're going to print. Next you want to separate all your layers to make things really easy. If we have to open your file and make any edits before we go to print, this makes it really simplified for us to find all the layers without having to search for them if there's lots of parts to the, to the design. Another big tip is make sure that when you send files to us that all your fonts are outlined. For example, if we have to open up this file that you sent to us and the the name or any of the text for that matter is a font that we don't have, we're not going to be able to open that and that's going to delay the project for you for us having to get in contact with you and get the appropriate font. So make sure you outline your fonts, that'll make it a lot easier. Okay, so let's get back to this here. So you're you want to always set up your layers to make it easy to read. So we're going to have our design layer, which is going to be your graphic design. We're going to add two additional layers. So we're going to have one layer that's a kiss cut. And then we're going to do a second layer that is the die cut. Okay, so we already have our kiss cut layer set up. So we're going to move that into our kiss cut. And then we need to make sure that we have this labeled properly. So your Kiss cut die cut layers have to be a spot color. So we're going to set up two different spot colors and we have a default of using cyan as the kiss cut layer and magenta as the die cut layer. So first thing we're going to do is set up our swatches. So we're going to name the kiss cut swatch cut and this basically tells our software which layer is going where to the cutter to cut appropriately. So you want to layer, you want to name your kiss cut layer as cut, and you want to make sure that it's spot, and then it's going to be 100% cyan. Second layer, we're going to click off of this so we don't change the color here. Second layer, which is your die cut layer that's going to cut through the backer, is going to be labeled cut one, no spaces, all lowercase, and it's going to also be a spot color, and we're going to make this one 100% magenta. This just helps us identify it better in the software for, for us. So next we're going to take your kiss cut layer and we're going to go in here to your object and we're going to go to our path and we're going to do sorry and we're going to do an offset path and you want to make sure you have your preview on because you want this spacing to be fairly large. See how that looks, that's too big. Okay, so let's go down a bit. But you want to have it large enough to where when the die cut's done and you have a sticker that's complete and the liner's cut into the shape you see here, you want an, enough of that excess vinyl to be there to keep it down on the liner so that when it's being handled or transported, this excess vinyl you see right here between the kiss cut and the die cut layer that this vinyl doesn't want to come off on its own if it gets hung. If it's a large enough span here, then it's going to stay down on the backer. And that will allow the client, you or your customer, if you're a broker, to peel this 
sticker off cleanly and not have this excess vinyl get in the way. So this looks large enough here. This is an eighth of an inch. Uh, 3 sixteenths is pretty standard, but this is a small decal. So just use your judgment. You, you want to have at least an eighth, but ideally would be 3 sixteenths to a quarter inch. If you have any questions, you can also get a hold of this and we'll help you out with it. So we're going to go ahead and save that. We want to make sure that this layer now is our cut one because that's our die cut. And then we're just going to double check that we have our layers set up properly here. So here is our kiss cut layer and our die cut layer. So let's see where are we headed. So here's our die cut. So we're going to move this into the die cut layer. So now we have our die cut and then we all have our kiss cut. So this file is set up and ready to send to us here at Thumbprint to produce your kiss cut die cut sticker and your two formats. Uh, the ideal format to send to us is a PDF. A uh, secondary format would be an EPS. Uh, if you are sending a PDF, as you can see here, I'm losing part of my uh, cut path outside of the art box. You do want to make sure that that is all within your page on a PDF, otherwise it will get clipped off. Uh, if it's an EPS, it will take whatever images past the artboard. There is really no artboard uh, when it comes to an EPS. If you have a graphic that's sitting out here, uh, that will show up and it will grab the entire bounding box of that graphic. So just make sure you don't have anything outside of your page uh, set up if you are sending an EPS. If you're sending a PDF, whatever is on the page, that is what we're going to see. So if you got something out here, that would be okay. So now this is ready. We're going to go ahead and save it. And now you can send it to us here at Thumbprint and we can produce a really great looking kiss cut die cut sticker. If you have any questions, please uh, give us a call at 805-527-9491 or you can send us an email at info at thumbprintink.com. Thanks a lot. Take care.